BMW iX versus BMW X7 versus AMG G63. Tug of War. Hello, welcome to Luxury Life, where we talk about the secrets of millionaires, understand their rich and lavish lifestyles, and even get a glimpse of the most expensive things, honor. At Luxury Life, we try to empower and inspire you so you can be a millionaire too. We all wonder which car is the strongest, maybe in terms of torque, engines, speed, and even safety features. Did you know that there are now 1.42 billion cars in use across the world? Including 1.06 billion passenger cars and 363 million business vehicles? Wow! With this great number, how can we tell which automobile is the best? In today's video, we're going to have a tug of war between BMW iX, BMW X7, and AMG G63. BMW and Mercedes Benz are the two most popular car brands in the world. So we think it would be great to see which car is better. If you enjoyed these kinds of videos, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload new videos. The iX is BMW's first purpose-built electric car since the i3 in 2013 and the fourth model under the BMW i sub-brand. The iX moniker was chosen to represent the model's position at the top of the Electric One lineup as well as its role in demonstrating the technology. The BMW iX is constructed around an aluminum space frame with a custom electric powertrain design. Although the electric platform is a completely new creation, it is very compatible with a modular CLAR platform. Because of this common chassis componentry, BMW is able to manufacture the iX alongside combustion engines at the Ding Golfing factory. To maintain the weight as low as possible, the body is built of a combination of high-strength steel, aluminum, thermoplastics, and carbon fiber reinforced plastic or CFRP. The front has a kidney grille identical to the G22 4 Series, which houses a camera, radar, and other sensors. The iX has the length and breadth of a G05 X5, but the roof height of a G06 X6 and the wheel size of an X7. It has a drag coefficient of 0.25 and a frontal area of 2.82 M2, therefore CDA equals 0.71 M2. BMW claims that the vehicle's reduced aerodynamic profile increased its WLTP range by around 40 miles. The BMW iX contains two electric motors that, when combined, produce a substantial amount of power. On the other hand, the X7 is constructed on the same BMW CLAR platform as the G05 X5, but it is taller and wider with greater luggage capacity and third-row seating that is standard and roomier for adults. In Europe, diesel and petrol engines are available. However, in the United States, the options are restricted to inline-six and V8 petrol engines. BMW has released a new version of the X7 in April 2022. The design is remarkably identical to the first version, with just minor alterations to the side profile and rear. The most noticeable modifications are a drastically altered front end look with new horizontally split headlamp units and a revamped curved white screen oriented dashboard within an otherwise nearly identical interior. Let's start the tug of war. The BMW iX M50 is powered by two electric motors that drive all four wheels. They produce 523 horsepower and 765 newton meters of torque when combined. The iX weighs a hefty 2,510 kilograms, which may be good for traction, and it has a towing capacity of 2,500 kilograms. The BMW X7 offers a bit greater pulling ability with a towing capacity of up to 3,500 kilograms. This is due to its 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine which produces 530 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. 
it's somewhat lighter than the iX, weighing in at 2,490 kilograms. So guys, the X7 wins. That's a bit humiliating for the iX, but hey, a car can tap everything, right? Moving forward, the winner of the first round gets to battle with the famous Mercedes-Benz G63. Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon SUV has military roots, but the high-performance Mercedes-AMG G63 variant is designed for a very different driver than the 1970s original. The G63's 577-horsepower twin-turbocharged V8 engine provides amazing performance. And its opulent cabin has all of the contemporary comforts we've come to expect from a top-tier Mercedes. A slew of entertainment and other digital options that would have appeared science fiction to the original truck's designers are now standard. The G63 is capable of those jobs as well. But we'd be wary about stealing its 40 looking 20-inch wheels. Regardless of how you want to use it, the G63 is meant to impress. But will it win against the BMW X7 in a game of old-fashioned tug-of-war? The verdict? While as impressive as the G63 may seem, it can't outpower the X7's strong torque. While the Mercedes-Benz CLS class is one of the best-performing big luxury cars on the market today, BMW is the ultimate winner when it comes to luxury performance. Any buyer seeking style and performance in a handy package should choose a BMW automobile. The BMW X7 doesn't hold back when it comes to spacious size, opulent features, and impressive performance. Platinum-level luxury in a full-size 7-seat SUV with impeccable execution. But losing this tug-of-war doesn't decrease the value of the G63 at all. The Mercedes-AMG G63 is not for the faint of heart. It's daring, quick, and loud, and it's vastly enhanced dynamically and technically in second-generation form. It's a lot of money, but there's a lot to appreciate about it. And here's hope it lasts for decades. In case you're wondering how much these beauties are, here's a quick rundown on their prices. The 2022 BMW iX is one of the lower-priced SUVs in the class, with a starting manufacturer's suggested retail price of $74,900. As you move up the trim ladder, costs are in line with many class rivals. The mid-range X7 M50i starts at $99,800, while the high-performance Alpina XB7 starts at $141,300. Meanwhile, the price of the Mercedes-Benz G-Class varies depending on the trim level. Starting from $246,500 and up to $314,897 for the model's most recent year of production. And that's it for today's video. We hope you liked what you watched. Which car caught your attention? And which car would you like to buy someday? Let us know in the comments section. Feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you get updated whenever we post new videos. Luxury Life is on Facebook too. Don't forget to follow and like our official Facebook page. See you in our next video.